guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new episode of my renovation series this is episode three we're now on we have made progress we have a lot of things to update you on and share with you so i've been filming and recording several clips since the last renovation episode ended so if you miss them if you want to catch up i'll leave episode one and two down below in the description box so make sure you head over there first to see what progress we have initially made before watching this video and then if you do want more live regular updates I tend to post in the moment over on my Instagram Homer account. Barney's crying because he wants to go for his walk. Mm. Don't you? Lots of updates to share with you. I'm going to do a bit of a voiceover on some clips and then show you around at the end on where we're at to round off this episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. Sit back, relax, put your feet up. This vlog is a whole lot of mess and madness if you are a bit OCD then maybe this video isn't for you because things are a mess but we're getting there we're getting there this week sees big big changes in the garden so I thought I would include some before clips of how it is currently looking so that you can see the real transformation by the end of this video so I'm just going to leave it with you here just to have a quick look at what our garden used to look like There's even this whole kind of secret hidden area behind um, the current extension which will be coming down. So all of this will be replaced with a full side extension with the front half being the garage and the back half being the open plan kitchen living area. But it's just completely a wasted dead space back here. I don't know what they could have done with it beforehand, but yeah, it'll all be changing in the future. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've just got back to a new garden. We've had people ripping out all the shrubs and everything. It's huge. Gosh, what a difference it makes. Tom is just on a works call, so I can't chat to him, but he did say, he phoned me earlier and said that they found all sorts oh <laughs> let me flip you around and show you so we're actually just keeping this tree up for the moment i don't know if you'll be able to see but there's loads of bees on it so and honestly i mean you can stroke them they're that like they just don't bother us and we're also keeping this for storage but all of that's coming out all of these shrubs the shed is down all of this bush has come out and all of this has come down as well oh my gosh it's okay we're gonna have to be so careful out here with barney because there's glass and everything so they're coming back tomorrow to actually do all the removal of these of everything basically so for now i'll just have to make sure he just uses this kind of area but oh my goodness yeah okay so we found a bathtub <laughs> there was a bathtub in there uh oh oh my gosh wow i don't know if you can see the metal fencing along there is the neighbor's garden so we'll have to put some kind of fencing up all along here for obviously our privacy and all of these are getting cut back as well and that goes again farther back to where the metal fencing is so we'll just have to 
either do a temporary solution or actually fence it properly soon just for our privacy and obviously for the neighbors as well but oh my gosh wow so day one of having the dry liners in to fit the insulation and the plasterboards and they've made great progress in just a day so we have the bathroom as you can tell all re-insulated plasterboarded on that wall and then which is the room i think this is the room that they've done yeah they've done all four walls in here oh it's echoey now and the ceiling like oh the bars are off the window they've taken them off yes we need to get rid of them windows are being fitted in two days which i'm so excited for and then through here we've got the master uh, oh my god it's so bizarre seeing it like with walls <laughs> after so long seeing the back to brick and the metal to um have it like this is amazing we had quite a bit of a delay on the delivery of the plasterboards and the insulation which meant that when we had the week booked with the dry liners they had a week or two allocated to do this but because the plasterboards didn't arrive until the following week they were then fully booked that following week so we've had a couple of weeks delay of basically doing nothing and <laughs> um, we started on the garden though which is going to be a big transformation they're clearing that all up in a couple of days too electrics and everything and then i don't think they've um started on the top floor yet let's just have a look yeah, no, they've just carried carried some of the boards and insulation up here. But we haven't... Oh my god, it's warm in here. Definitely need to insulate this, get the windows open for some air. So um, that little hole there, which is for the extraction fan for the shower, once the ensuite has been done, we, again, still need partition walls up for them to finish off with this. So they're probably another three days of work before they're fully completed. But yeah, that hole, I've noticed the insulation from the cavity has moved around a little bit and there's bird poo. So if you remember from my first renovation vlog, Percy the Pigeon is back and he would sit on this window as well when it was open and he's making himself at home, which is not good. So again, once these plasterboards are in, everything's insulated, that hole is filled with the extraction, we won't have any more bird issues. It's literally like a fluffy cloud in this room before it got boarded on the ceiling. So anyway, back into the garden, just a little update. Loads of stuff that we found, literally mounded in the back. I mean, we found a bathtub, we found big barrels, tubs, rubbish all sorts there was quite a little treasure hunt going on and yeah i thought i would get a few clips of the stuff that we did find a lot of rubble as well um what rather than what we initially thought was just shrubs back here it was actually foundations for like a building so there was a lot of brick that will need to be sifted out and removed before turfing This is one of the old windows that has come out on this top floor. And then that actually has been replaced with this one. Because it's going to be a bathroom here, I have got this one frosted. I've made a boo-boo by not getting downstairs ensuite one frosted. We've got the main bathroom frosted and this one. But we're just going to make it work. <laughs> it will be fine. I don't know if I can actually touch this. I don't know how quick this stuff dries and whether or not I can open the window. But, um, oh, the other one's open. So maybe I can. Let's see, oh, ta-da! You can see the little feet there, which gives it the sash imitation from the outside. See, from the inside, you can't really tell. Oh my goodness! And then that means we can probably get peeling this stuff off. I kind of want to keep it protected, but I know that this stuff, if you don't take it off after a while, it can get really tricky to take off, so 
I am tempted to remove all these and then just give it a good clean when we need to in future. But yay, windows are starting to go in. The insulation is starting to go in. We do need to go and pick up some more tomorrow morning, myself and Tom, because we have under ordered. <laughs> this is one of the windows where we've had a Georgian divide kind of put down the center. It honestly feels so good <laughs> to have proper fresh windows. So yeah, you can see there how we've had the divide in the directly in the middle of the windows. We've had it on this window, so the front of the house, our master bedroom, which will be the front of the house, and my filming room as well. So I'll show you it better once the filming room window is in. So back down here on this floor, that's one of the windows to go in. Honestly, I'm in love with the look of it. In fact, this one will be the filming room window. So that will have the glass panes in the um, once they're in with the Georgian divide down the middle. So we've had this bathroom one done, woohoo, with the frosted glass. And then this room, we've got the partition wall going up, ready for the um, partition walls to be insulated and bordered. So this will be like the shower unit. And then this part will be the ensuite. And yeah, that's where I've made the mistake of not getting frosted glass there, oops. And then um, we also had another little boo-boo, unfortunately I didn't catch it on camera, but as the dry liners tried to go in here with a plasterboard, unfortunately they caught the brand new pipe that's been laid by the plumber there and there, which meant that water went everywhere. We had to <laughs> turn off at the stop to happen. We were, we were without water last night, because I wasn't sure if I could put it back on again. But Plummer said that he can easily get back and sort this out. So that's not the worst thing in the world. You know, there are going to be complications along the way and errors on my part as well. But yay! Oh, this is the next one to go in. I feel like this one is for that window. Through here, we haven't really done much. Other oh, windows are actually up here. See? Um, yeah, just bordered. Ceilings still need to be done. It's the ceilings we need to get the insulation stuff for. It's different stuff to the wall. As you can tell, the wall insulation is like a, well, you can see what it looks like. That we've got enough of. It's that real fluffy, cloudy stuff, that kind of stuff that we need for the insulation of the ceilings that we need to go and buy some more of. This wall isn't being insulated. With it being an internal wall, just on the staircase, we're just going to board straight to that. When the ceilings have been done in here as well. Yay! My filming room, I'm so excited. To have everything ready to be styled up, cannot wait. This is how our garden is looking. They've cleared out a lot of the stuff that was in the garden that had been cut back and everything and it's now just left pretty much just maybe one or two more days worth of clearing it all out because all of that back area has been cleared as well. Um, so all of this needs to go and then they're going to cut back this tree here at least the branch at the bottom and then level out some of this kind of rubble area to level out the garden slightly remove all the bricks kind of sift it through and we're just going to re-turf it all for now as a temporary solution which will be nice for Barney to have a nice run around and us to have a garden that is usable. And then we need to obviously sort the fencing out as well. So pretty big job, but it's looking so much better already. And then we're going to keep this outhouse storage for storage, <laughs> essentially, until we completely redo and landscape the garden properly in the future once the house is fully done. We also still have one more tree to remove, which is actually this big one here. Um, they're going to save that as the sort of last job as it's a low priority because this will need to come down for when we extend out to the side in the back of the house and it will also help with the ground work with all the root and everything. So yeah, that is going to come out. It'll also free up a lot of of sky for us to get more sunlight through during the day which is is going to be beneficial so yeah they must have at some point had this little patch as um for growing things because this is some kind of onion garlic what is this let me know <laughs> but at some point in the future we'd love to have some kind of beds for herbs and some fruit and veg and stuff maybe in the bottom end of the corner i think what we're going to do is have a proper landscape draw out some plans for us as to what we can do with this space but if you guys have any ideas do let us know because i will be intrigued to hear your guys opinion as well just obviously bearing in mind that the house will be extended to the side and also back slightly 
and then this will be become footings for maybe an outdoor kitchen area here in the future so yeah we're playing around with all of this space we have contemplated maybe taking this tree out because now we've cleared it all actually this tree is quite far out compared to these other big trees back here and it will also mean that these two here in the middle can grow and have the potential to get a bit more sunlight and they're the same for as this one at the front as well and then obviously we're keeping the magnolia we have found a little tree swing that was up in there so that is swinging there if you can tell so there is an overview of what our garden is like phase one phase two will be the sifting and removing of the brick and re-turfing and then back upstairs into the house we can see drastic changes with pretty much all of the dry lining being done and I just wanted to give you a quick look as well of what the Georgian style divide on the sash style windows looks like so this is the window in what will be my sort of filming room office wardrobe room And then this is our bathroom, how it's currently looking with the partitions built as well and then back through into the spare room so you can see it from the other side, that's what it's looking like. And then back upstairs on the top floor, again a lot more insulation is going in ready to be boarded and the partition walls being built up here too. This is an exciting day for me. We have plaster. Oh my God, it's so echoey in here. So the plastering has begun, which, oh my gosh, it just makes everything feel cleaner, neater, ready to be painted. So obviously they've done one ceiling and one wall in my filming room. And then he's gonna kind of work on this room whilst the dry liners are finishing off the other rooms step by step. They've just got a few little bits left to do. And then we've also had the plumbers in. So obviously this is our main bathroom. They've just been doing all the kind of fixtures, fittings, sorting everything out ready to be fitted. So obviously this is the shower in the main bath. And this is the shower valve unit for where the valves will actually be. Um, so we're going to have on this side... The valves, which I think is two from memory, two like valves. And then here we've kind of built in like a little shower niche. So we're going to have an inbuilt um, that will all be plastered and painted. So it's like a little, or even tiled, a little shower niche, a little shower shelf. And then a wall hung shower because obviously the ceiling is way too high for a ceiling a pendant that's just a light for in the shower quite a dark little space if we didn't have that um and then this is actually the ensuite to this spare room which is pretty much all finished there was just um one repair that needed to be done i'm assuming that they've done that now the plumbers so that can be the board can be put on there this can be boarded and sort of finished off and again they were just fitting the shower valves for the shower that we've ordered from myra showers so this is going to be like a shower 800 by 800 quadrant in there towel rail on this wall here and then it will actually be a sliding door this one into what will be the shower towel rail and then sink vanity here and a toilet here this room is pretty much just a few finishing touches ready for the plasterer to move in here after he's done the other spaces as well and it's taken them a bit longer to do the bay window obviously because of all the cuts and everything which i don't know i just i love a bay window everything is coming together we did need to make sure that all the wall lights are level uh, which they actually weren't initially so they are have all been sort of straightened out and leveled now So there's two either side of what will be the bed light switch and then on this wall Which will probably have paneling done. We've also got two wall lights with maybe either a mirror or a piece of art in the middle So yeah, that's just an example of where we've had to level that out and refill where it did come out to make sure it's level with the rest of them this is the only room upstairs as well that we've actually got a ceiling hung um, kind of light rather than the down lights. So again, that needed to be centralized. In fact, is it centralized? No, it's not. Okay, we need to change that. I've just realized because if you actually look at it straight on with the 
wall lights there in the bed. The ceiling light, light should be right in the middle. Obviously it's not, it's to the left. So I need to make a note of that and move that across. Then this is the state of the top room. I'm saying the state of it because it is quite a mess. It needs to be cleaned up really and kept on top of because this is not ideal. But um, yeah, there's still quite a lot to do here. Still quite a lot of um, boards to be put on. These ceiling ones that have been put on actually need to be taken down to fit the um shower because it's going to be a ceiling hung shower up here for tom this is going to be tom's bathroom in here and then the only other thing left to do really is we're going to move this plug socket around here and have the nice radiator along here and then switch over for this side to be the bed so we need two sockets added there and there and then this side instead of it being the bed we're going to have the wardrobes here, fitted wardrobes, so no need for that plug socket anymore. And because of the awkward shape, it makes more sense, in my opinion, to just do some built-in wardrobes on this side. And keep this side free for a spare bed. We're just going to have it as a sofa bed, Tom's kind of office area up here. And then with the option to have guests if we need it. Because let's face it, how often do we actually have guests? Never. I mean, now that we've got the property to invite more people to stop over, then of course we will. But we'll have the spare bedroom downstairs, which will have the ensuite. So this will be the kind of secondary spare room with a sofa bed. And then the last but not least would be my filming room. Again, it's going to have a sofa bed in. So yay, the plaster, having the plaster on. OMG, it makes such a difference. So good to see. The gardeners are coming back uh, tomorrow. They're starting tomorrow too empty fully out the garden just i mean it's pretty much empty now but just finish that off with also turfing it which again i'm really excited for that to begin let me just have one more look at this plastered room oh look i mean i could even use that as a background for my youtube videos it's that pristine so yeah that is where we're at currently i feel like i'm gonna end a renovation series one episode three series one it's episode three of the renovation series probably gonna end that here there's not really any updates downstairs other than it's an absolute tip. Constant clear ups in this little channel every single night. One of the builders has left their phone. I've just seen it in the downstairs low. This is the reality of our downstairs low as well. This is the little space here. And there's a torch light because the light hasn't worked in here for however long. So yeah, we do have a downstairs low, but it doesn't have electricity. Hello, Barney little munchkin waiting for me by the door you cutie pie i feel like it's time seeing as though it's four o'clock and all the builders have clocked off for the day because that's standard tradesman time to finish the day isn't it oh kisses for the camera i feel like we might go on a little walk yeah do you want to go for a walk So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching episode three. I hope you guys are enjoying these little updates. So refreshing to see plaster on the wall finally. Yes. And you're not allowed at sets because we're going to have carpet up there. So no dogs allowed. No dogs allowed. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice paw. Yeah. What are you eating? Have you got something in your mouth? When has he ever not got something in his mouth? That's the question. So hopefully by the next time we've got an episode, we'll have all plastered walls. We'll have a turfed new garden. And who knows, a bit more fixtures and fittings in place in the bathrooms and things hopefully moving forward. So excited. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys.